This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining, now that they're barred from the temple. Great. Considering what happened the last time we were in Alpha, can you really blame them? <sighs> Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. You heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just. I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I am curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you've helped some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. <clears throat>
That bomb should help us out. <laughs> it's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alphine... the largest bloody half you have ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Moose. We'll get you out. What is that? of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? half are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our Dark Elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. So, by clearing out all of this Hive, are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved. 
No. Then let us free it. We can cut the half goofa loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad, while he still can? Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. A lot of the sand is cleared up. There's another storm out that way. I think that means... Another half goofa. Did the lighthouse put this lock here? Why would they care what happens in the barren? When we were in Vanaheim, Big Bear and Bela spoke of this place. They said it was forbidden. Went on about uncovering some secret history. Secret history? Sounds like your kind of adventure. Aye, that's what I said. Another storm awaits. Yeah, but at least now we know how to end it. Ah! So, once we free both Hofgoofas and end all the storms, then what? Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing Hafnifa. The scars of conflict are woven into the very fabric of the realm. I have to believe in the long run we're doing right by Alpine, but... Well, what's your father always saying in this situation? Keep your expectations low, and you'll never be disappointed? Wise words. Well! Let's we start ah! looking for a way underground. We gotta find the right cave. I wasn't sure before, but I'm glad we're doing this. This sandstorm just feels...
song for Alfon. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege. Even if it's only a solo act. Not once we free this other half, Goofa. It'll be a duet. Alka! What is this place? It doesn't look like a dark elf. Time we were in Alfheim, this high stuff was all over the realm. It looked unnatural. Like it was choking the life out of everything. Even the light itself. It looked that way because you're not from this realm, lad. To the Dark Elves, the hive is more natural than that faultless, lily-white column in the center of the well. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half for that matter. You have a point. I'd like to believe I always do. This hive looks thick. I'm not sure why that works, but I'm glad it does. below would disagree. Die. Let's continue, shall we? Certainly. A bittersweet spectacle, considering the cost. The cost? Aye. The adult's light fades as they pass it on to their offspring. Hold on. Are you saying they have to die to have kids? They don't have to, but the more light they give, the higher the chance of their offspring's survival. Damn. That's... Wow. It is what parents do. Really? All parents are supposed to die for their children? It is what I would do.
Here it is. Yes, it's time to free it. Don't seem particularly happy about it, lad. We're freeing them only for them to die. It doesn't seem fair. Life seldom is. But their sacrifice will allow their children to thrive. And they will die protected. I hadn't thought about it like that. I just... If I were one of the children, I wouldn't want them to. I know, son. But it is the only choice they can make. No! <laughs> all we can do from down here. Hi. Back to the surface, then. <laughs> a pipe. A what? It's, a uh, for relaxation. You burn leaves... ...and breathe the smoke. Oh. fate of these creatures it reminds me of a story yeah there once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world but no metal could hold such a power so the blacksmith used the flame Mother, of... please it's okay what is okay you don't have to look i know i get sad about this kind of stuff but It appears we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. Yet again. Come on, let's go cut it free.
Whatever my future holds, move this, Atreus. I will always do what is best for your future. Even these two understand that there is little choice for a parent. So, are they? Hmm. Uh, this one's all yours, brother. You know what? Never mind. Father, for doing all this. I know it doesn't solve everything, but it feels like we helped. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? 